Looks like the batteries ran out. You think I'd be sad, but I was actually delighted. Got to start out with a bad dad joke, right? We are taking a first look at the new 18650 series of lights from Arasaka. And no, the batteries are not really dead, in case you whoosh, the dad joke in the beginning. Uh, but I was pretty excited to check out this light. Now, first things first, I do appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. My name is Dave Tim from Guns and Tactics. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like the content. Check us out online. Back to the show. Uh, I have a 16 series flashlight from Arasaka that I've been running on a rifle for a long time, and I really like this light. Uh, it's very bright. It uses Malkoff heads. You can use Surefire clickies. Uh, my only complaint was that, you know, it's not an 18650, but it's a little smaller, a little slimmer. And for those of you guys that don't know, uh, the difference between those is the battery. So here is a 16650 and an 18650. You can see that the diameter is 16 millimeter, 18 millimeter, but uh, lengthwise they're pretty close to the same. However, what we gain with the 18650 is 25 milliamp hours versus 3,500 milliamp hours. So capacity, runtime, all that stuff uh, is improved with the larger battery. Plus charging is a little easier. There's a lot of uh, 18650s with a USB built in. I'm not sure if there are 16650s with the USB, uh, but a lot of my other stuff runs 18650s. So when Arasaka said, hey, we're coming out with an 18650, I was pretty excited to check one out. Now this is a media sample. Uh, I was sent this just to check out and run for a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I get to keep it long term. I'm not getting paid to make this video or anything like that. And you'll see what it is uh, when we you know, show some of the beam comparisons. Right off the bat, I like that it is priced competitively to other high-end lights on the market. Now, if we were to compare this to, geez, a uh, entry-level you know, light like the Streamlight here, this is made overseas, they're not as bright, uh, don't as much throw, switch quality, all that other stuff, it's not gonna compare. So if you're looking for absolute budget, is not for you. However, if you're looking for quality, uh, if you wanted to compare it to some of the other ones, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, you'll find that it's priced there. So right off the bat, let's just talk about pricing and availability. Uh, pricing starts at $220 for the Melkoff head. If you wanted to upgrade and get a Mod Light OKW head, uh, it would be $270. They do have different tail cap options. It does take Surefire tail caps. So if you have a particular one, whether that be a tape switch, part that plugs into your remote, or maybe you have it on a pressure pad, or you know whatever your preference is, it is compatible with those. So that's kind of an industry standard. And then it does use a Scout uh, footprint. So I have it here on one of the inline Scout mounts from Arasaka. Uh, just generally works well for me. I can, I'm gonna plan on rotating this from rifle to rifle. So this is just a first look. I literally um, just finally got some bandwidth to kind of make some videos and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you some beam shots as well, but what I like about it is it has a good color. It's a nice white, doesn't have too much of a blue or yellowish tint. It appears to be a pretty neutral white tint. Throw is pretty good and spill and spot are pretty good as you're seeing here. So the first image I'm showing you, the camera's on a manual setting. You can see what it looks like under ambient lighting conditions. I tried to adjust the manual exposure so that you're seeing what the naked eye sees. The target, is 50 yards away from the flashlight. And you're seeing what is illuminated by the light being 50 yards away. And you can see that it does a pretty good job. This next clip is now you're seeing 100 yards away. And this is a fully charged battery, but you're seeing with the light 100 yards away, again, camera on the same manual footage. Expect in the future that I will be doing some comparisons. Obviously I have a few other lights that I have used. So this is not gonna be a comparison video, but literally just a first look. I wanna use this more and get some more comparisons. But yes, we'll be comparing it. Now, what I am gonna compare right now is size. And I thought for an 18650 body, they did a really nice job. It's not that much larger than the 16650, just a little bit larger in the body. Now, compare that to the Streamlight. Uh, it's about the same size, except for you're getting a far better light, far brighter light, better switch options, you know. I mean, and I like these for an entry level option. And then if we compare it to the Surefire, which I don't really wanna call the gold standard because I feel like Surefire in a way has um, kind of come dated. I know they have the new turbo stuff, but I, I really like the Arasaka stuff that I've run. But you can see it's very similar in size. And then compared to 
Uh, this is a Cloud Rain. This is the original. And it is obviously much smaller, not only in diameter, but overall length and weight. This is actually lighter than this whole thing without a mount. So uh, again, just gives you an idea of size and, and how low profile it is. Now, if we were to quick you know, grab a rifle, you can see uh, how streamlined their mounts allow that light to get on the rail. So again, a nice low profile mount there, but it's still, oh gosh, that's gonna be close with the suppressor. I better go check that. one sec. Oh man, plenty of room, plenty of room. Like I was worried, look at that. Plenty of room, no issues whatsoever. Uh, anyways, as I was saying before I got all worried, um, I do like the inline mount. It does have a little bit of shadow cast, uh, but down range, you're not seeing that. Overall, uh, Arasaka lights always performed really well, so I'm really looking forward to getting some more rounds uh, on range with this new 18650. I'm gonna try to do a little bit more low light stuff coming up, but just wanted to give you guys a first look of what's new out there. I know people are always looking for like the latest and greatest, and especially with lights, I really do feel like lights are technology that does evolve and expire. It's kind of like a cell phone. The newer, better cell phone comes out, you want to upgrade so you get the better camera, you get the better, faster app processing or whatever. Same thing with flashlights. Technology, candela, lumens, all that stuff is evolving and you can get better stuff. Speaking of which, let's talk about some specs, even though I don't want to read a ton of specs. But one of the things I really like, again, very lightweight, weight without a tail cap. Uh, with a battery is 4.5 ounces, diameter is only 1.23 inches, even narrower at the tube, and you can either use two 123s or an 18650, which I'm, I'm a firm believer in 18650s, unless you're in a bind, you know, no big deal there. But here's what I want to talk about, was with the Melkoff device's head, which is what I have here, and these heads are just absolutely amazing. I've used Melkoff devices on other older lights, things like that, and uh, these heads are just absolutely bomb-proof. Everything is all basically epoxy potted, I believe is the technical term, but it's basically like solid state, so super robust, there's not anything shaking around, impact, anything like that, recoil, uh, nothing's gonna you know, vibrate loose because it's all sealed. Anything like that that you have to worry about, it's just all solid construction. Uh, reflector's good, and uh, LED, you know, everything I've had from Elkoff just performs. Whereas I can't say that about a certain other big flashlight company that starts with an S. I've had, I have, actually have two warranties I gotta send in right now because of LEDs burning out or going bad or whatever. But the Malkoff devices are absolutely awesome. So real sp uh, specs, 500 lumens, 55,000 candela of white light. This will illuminate a target at 100 meters better than a uh, Surefire, which actually has you know, there it is, the Surefire, which is uh, less. Runtime is 30 minutes with two CR123 or 1.5 hours with that 18650. Again, that's a great reason why you wanna go with 18650s is you do have that runtime. It's okay to keep some 123s in the bag as a backup. Here's the other cool thing is if you did wanna get the Modlite OKW dual fuel head, you're upgrading then to 680 lumens and now 69,000 candela. So lumens is how bright something is, but the candela is what we're doing with that brightness, the throw or the reach of the light. So not just lumens, because lumens we can measure at the illuminator. All right, so let's just take like a light bulb, for example. A light bulb is super bright. It has a lot of lumens, but it's not really throwing very far with our candela. So it would need like a reflector or a fixture or something like that. And that is all what's important when we're looking at lights. We wanna make sure we're looking at the reflector, the fixture to get that candela. So that's kind of the easy way to explain it. To learn more, you can certainly check out their webpage. Again, this is just a first look. I'm looking forward to getting some more time at the range with the Arasaka lights, and I will report back. If you guys have any questions about this or anything else, sound off in the comment section below, or you can send us a question to the email address shown below, that is the QA at gunsandtactics.com. I answer your questions at the end of the month, plus we give away a prize. Guys, if you like this first look, please give us that like, subscribe, check out our webpage for more content. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. We work really hard to make content that we hope you as a shooter would enjoy. Subscribe to our channel, check out our featured videos and playlists, and if you have a question firearms related, go ahead and send an email to the address shown on the screen to be entered into our monthly QA series.